All right. I'm just gonna, just a minute more, I think. Didn't advertise like I did. Usually something had happened where it like locked me out of my Twitch for some stupid reason. That's fine. Just make sure that the window is per <laughs> correctly being captured. Okay. And, oh. There we go. Right? There we go. Now you can see me. Alright. That's my little introduction. I am Cthulhu, or you can just call me Koo. Welcome to my crayon box. We're about to play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and we've got work up to chapter six already, I believe. We did a little bit of preparation before the last stream had ended, but now we're actually gonna like get into it and start things up. Can't remember where the f what the hell I was doing. <laughs> so let's see. I know that there were um, there's places I need to bomb. And I think one of them... I do need to go back to Hooktail's castle, I believe. Because that'll give me the ability to upgrade my partners a bit more. Which is kind of required at this point. We're getting pretty far into the game. I can't believe I'm only level 16 with that. But... Uh... Shoot. I think it might be this way. I've already gone to the actual door and, like, set up where we need to go like it I already showed it the, the star and it already told us we need to go to Poshley Heights or whatever and uh this area is no longer safe as a fucking hammer bro no 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 okay fuck okay <laughs> please stop all right it's the one on the right I know that much but is there another I think there might be another thing over here So I'm wondering if he is enough to blow it up. No, he's not. Okay. It's probably something I'm being stupid about because you should be able to get it pretty soon. Like it's already been... Like I'm pretty... Okay, there's not a tube to Glitzville as far as I know because it's really easy to get to. But there should be a tube to... Maybe it... Uh... No, maybe I'm wrong. Alright, we need to go this way. So let me get fuckers out. And we'll just start going. It said in Hooktail's castle, around the area where we got cursed for the first time. Where the black chest is. So it shouldn't be too hard to get to. No. Nope. Leave me be. You survived today, Goomba. Appreciate my sacrifice. Alright. Oh, I really hate coming to this castle. <laughs> I don't know why I hate it so much. I just really do. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Uh, I have full health, right? There we go. You, and because I don't believe I've checked over here, I don't think you can get over here with 
uh, the Yoshi, but I also don't want to try because it's a waste of HP in my, my opinion. My humble opinion. Uh, fuck off. Thanks. Uh. Okay. It's definitely not on a f an upper floor. It's definitely- it's gotta be on a lower floor, right? As far as I- fuck! As far as I know, at least. Uh, multi-bounce should be good. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Alright. Um. Nah, we'll just do a ground pound. Really? That does nothing? Oh. Don't make another... Weak. Fuck. <laughs> I'm really off my game today, huh? Why did I use power bounce? Why did I use power bounce? Why did I do this? I'm just gonna defend. There we go. Alright. Hello, Gaia. I'm not quite sure if you've been in my chat before, but it's nice to see you. Alright. Not bad. Leave me. Give me that. Give Fuck. Alright. Alright. out of here throwing cans at me what the hell's wrong with you who throws a shoe honestly there we go now I'm getting good actually let me pause real quick let me get <laughs> because we reached affiliate goal so I forgot I need to <laughs> take that off and where's my chat box? Because stuff should be coming up on it, right? That's so weird. Anyway. I'm sure it'll come up soon. If not, whatever. I'll just fix it up. But this morning, actually, I reached... Oh, hello, dolphin! Go, Kutu, go! I reached affiliate this morning, which is really, really cool. It's honestly amazing. Alright, wait, can I actually, like, no. So, like, how do I get to these things? I don't think Bobbery can do it. No. I guess I have to get a more powerful hammer. Or something like that. As far as I remember... I mean, I, I'm trying to think my best here to see if I have to go through all this sort of thing again, or like... Yeah, we'll switch that to the other side. And then what's actually on the other side? Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, this was just where you get a key. Never mind. Okay. And then I think the purple block is something I can't actually do anything with yet, as far as I know, because I can't break those blocks. Um. In here? Okay. I think we're getting close to it. No, fuck off. Here we go. No, 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 no. Okay. Is it over here, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. Here it is.
There we go. I'm sitting there just like, wait a minute. This is exactly what he's used for. Hmm. Don't like this. Oh. Oh! Um. Up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody. Hello, Augie! What the fuck? An up arrow? While I'm in here. Not that I think there's really going to be anything in here to stomp. But I thought it might as well. Because you never know. But it's not like the ceiling's gonna come down again, so... Alright, no. So I think that's all we needed to do here. So with that, we get <laughs> Cuckoo Slive time to party! Thank you, Mule. <laughs> uh, there's nothing behind here, right? No. Have I stomped in here? Okay. Uh, time to get fuckers. Oh, yeah, that's- oh, that's right, I could've just- Damn, I'm an idiot. Nope. Leave me be. God, those things are fast for being dead. Alright, I can save, definitely, because you never know what's gonna happen. And we can leave. Because I think that was the only thing we actually needed to be here for. I'm just avoiding all of these things like the plague because I don't trust them. Just make it sure. I think I got everything in here. Pretty sure I got that like the first time around. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why that scared me so bad. And it's dead. We're gonna normal jump it. Fuck! Well, that was useless. There we go. The last thing I want is to not kill all of the enemies from the first fucking area in one shot. Ooh! Whoa. Alright, and then up here, and then we should be on our way out. Yeah, something weird happened with my- I think I was saying it earlier. Something weird happened with my Twitch. Where, like, when I tried to send things out, the entirety of Streamlabs was just like, uh, we can't, uh, we don't know your Twitch exists. Which is weird because it let the stream go through, so everything else is, like, not fucking working. Like, the chat's not fucking working, the- Oh, no, wait, the chat is working a little bit. I can see. I can see. It's there. It's just covered by my big ass head. Linja Graphics, hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? We started not too long ago, so you're not you're not too late. I'm excited because I get to play my favorite chapter this time. Why is it my favorite chapter? For a little bit of context without spoiling things, in this chapter we get to be a detective. Which is very fun. Nope, get away from me. Okay, uh, we need to go back up to the surface. I don't know what this up arrow is going to be able to do, but I guess Merlin will. Okay. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. When I, when we at, uh, ended the last- <laughs> Detective Cuckoo P.I. <laughs> the last time we ended, I was like, oh, this is gonna be awful. What's this? An up arrow! I don't know the voice I made for this guy, I don't remember. An up arrow? Up? D of course! <laughs> oh my god. Um. Alright. <laughs> Where the fuck did he go? Uh, what? 
This is the Ultra Stone, so that is what the star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Okay. Oh, he changed his crystal ball. Okay. We are cooking now. Let me know when you want to power up your allies. Okay. Well, I think I've got enough for four. So let's see. You can hold fast to damage direct attackers. Uh, what does Coops get? Shell slam to attack all ground enemies. Dodgy Fog to make him dodgy. You can use Stampede to attack all ground enemies. You can use Infatuate to confuse all enemies. Alright, well, Coops definitely. Shazubi! Shazubi! Sticks out my butt so that it looks submissive and breedable. I kept going. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I definitely need Stampede from him. Hold fast to damage direct attackers. E I think I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade up to. Um, fuckers, and then I'll. I'll upgrade Bobbery, since he doesn't have his base yet. The thickness has been upgraded. What? 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 Oh, you mean Kipka? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Ooh woo. A woe notices your bulge. I want to know, though, aren't submissive and breedable, like, the same thing? Like, okay, I saw a tweet, like, a few days ago where it used, like, are you submissive or are you breedable? And it was, like, like I remember, te like, messaging on it, like, wait, are they supposed to be the same? Aren't they supposed to be the same? I'm gonna notice it more, haha, <laughs> JK, unless I already notice it more. I saw your post in Chicka's Discord, so I wanted to join in. You have a very lovely voice. Thank you very much, Linja! Actually, you have the same name as uh, that grandma cook on YouTube. Has anyone ever seen her, Linja? She... <laughs> she's like a, a really old lady. But she, she does like recent memes and stuff whenever she makes her cooking videos. It's so fucking good. Got six FP. Fuck. Um, shell slam. Let me see. Piercing their def. Ooh, that'll be good. Now, I think I need to go to talk to Don Pianta. I think that's what I was told. Submissive means you're like the bottomiest bottom in New York, and breedable means you're fertile. So no, not the same. So the tweet's like, are you a bottom or are you breedable? You can't be both. <laughs> that one tweet. You can never be both. <laughs> that is beautiful. I will be an Asian grandma that memes all the time. You should look her up. I don't mind if you leave for like a few minutes to go look up Linja. I think it's L-Y-N-J-A. As far as I believe. Let me see if I can actually sell some stuff right now. Ooh, I don't have any fucking items to heal. Um. I wish Void Shroom, like... I don't care if Void Shroom was upped in price for this, but if it, if it healed you as well as electrified you, that would be fucking cool. Example, I am breedable because I have wild, wide childbearing hips. I would say you're breedable because you're a fucking rabbit. Literally fucking rabbit. All rabbits are breedable. 
And if anyone says otherwise, they're wrong. Uh, oh. Oh? Francesca. Aw, oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss, Frankie, is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for yous? Oh, Linja, thank you for following! Where? Welcome to the crayon box. Okay. What? Tickets for the ritziest train around? For the XS Express? I can't sub to you yet. Is that why I haven't- I haven't gotten any subs? Do you need to reach a tw uh, affiliate before you can actually get subs? Huh. I did not think about that, nerd. <laughs> Whoa, you want tickets for the rolling wing ding? Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. For just good. <laughs> I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew what those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. Hang on. Those two frondy folk, Frankie and Francesca, from Kill Hall Key. Who's on the what now? <laughs> okay. What did you just say? Repeat that. <laughs> yeah, you need to be full affiliate to get subs, bits, and emotes. The Paper Mario trilogy is so amazing. Third is a bit dark, but still really good. As if this one's not dark? Torterra? <laughs> Do you fucking know how this game ends? And you say this game... There's a fucking noose in Rogueport Square. How is this game not dark? <laughs> you know what a young Mi Miss Pianta's at? Really? No lie. I swear to you, if you're lying, I'll turn you into confetti. So help me. Oh, so help me. That's how he says it. Yes, but I stand by that the third game is a bit more dark. Well, guess what? I'm going to be doing the whole trilogy here. Maybe out of order, but still. It's just for Hangman. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I was able to get, um, a, what is it, an emulator for Super Paper Mario. Although, since that one's not as easy for me to set up, that one would be going last. The next game after this in the trilogy, we'll do the first game. The regular, like, the very first Paper Mario. I fucking love that game. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected. You get me? I'm sure they wanted a moose in the town square. <laughs> they just spelt it wrong. Okay. Yeah, you bring us Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get your train tickets. We got a deal or what? Take a hike, bub. No, we're gonna say deal. See, now that's better. I knew when she understand our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. Let me just... No star piece. Okay. <laughs> so we gotta go back to Kill Hall Key. And get Francesca. To see a dad. To see a daddy. Oh, wait, wrong. You're not. Fuckers. There we go. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to think about where I want to go. What you got now, dude? Wario <sighs> Emblem. Mm, I really want it. No, I don't want the Wario one. I want the Waluigi one. That's it. Cool, I gotta tell you something. What? Tell me, tell me. Actually, let me see what's behind here. Okay. Kisses you. Ah! I've been kissed. Oh no. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? The, um. <laughs> Apparently, there's an anime out there where it's like, oh, don't look at me like that. You'll make me pregnant. <laughs> and I feel like that's just like, oh, don't kiss me. You'll make me pregnant.
You know that clip? Good. <laughs> I'll have another little hoster. Nakith. I'm a lurk since I need to do my daily routine. That's fine, chicka. Go ahead and lurk, man. It's also 6.30 and I got up as fast as I could to sub to you, but can't. Kip cat more like kiss cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chica. It needs to go through first. Because I just thought, oh, you get affiliate and people can just like just give you, you know, donate money whenever they want. Apparently not. You have to wait for like your bank shit and statements and all that shit to go through. I did do my taxes, you fuck. I did all my fucking taxes. I just gotta wait for them to review it. In fact, actually, let me... While I'm here. <laughs> I wonder... I'm just wondering if they, like... Accepted it yet. Yeah, they're still sitting on my access. I a three from last stream. Fuck. Okay. Buy me, buy me more jewelry! <laughs> Alright, where's Frankie and Francesca? <laughs> Stop with that emote! Stop being grumpy and taking a nap. Get rid of that fucking monkey emote. I hate it so much. Why aren't there any... Oh! Oh, that's why there's no enemies here. Okay. Oh, hi there, Mario. What brings you here? I didn't read the rest of that. Bertha can't- Bertha didn't die for this. Bertha didn't fucking die at all! Shut up! What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh no, at a time like this. You see, I- I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. It must be somewhere around here in that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring in for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bake, my little bacon burger. <laughs> None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me a hundred times. One hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. You know, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Aw, oh, fine, you crazy dame. I love you. I love you. I love you. Ten times. Let. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. I actually have to sit here until he says it 99 times. Well, that fucking counts it. Yes, I have to click through the whole fucking thing. <sighs> <sighs> there, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? You think these guys are gonna be all right looking for it on their own? No, definitely not. So, said it's between here and the Skull Rock. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> that was really fucking close. There we go.
on a herd of Yoshis. Repeatedly, alternately press them. There we go. That's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, wow. Jesus, fuck. Nice. Oh, well, there goes some of my fucking... Co I got really lucky that I didn't get bitten by that thing. The only reason I hate this area so much is because these piranha plants spit poison. And I really am terrible at fucking guarding against it. Oh, thank God I made it. Okay. So, uh... Just because I, I bought it today, and I... I talked about it a little bit on Twitter. I did buy Phasmophobia. And I was like, ah, it's not gonna be that bad. And at first it wasn't, like, as I was still figuring shit out. And then... The reason it wasn't so bad was because I was in the, the wrong area looking for the ghost. So, when I did it the first time, I had no fucking clue what I was doing, right? Oh, there it is. I had no clue what I was doing, so I exited out of it, and I thought, oh, it's going to be in the same spot. So I set everything up in the dining room, and it's not in the fucking dining room. It's in the foyer. So I move everything there, and this fucker just keeps opening doors and knocking down paintings, and my sanity's going down even though it's a fucking training thing, which was scaring me, so I went out of that, and then it put me into one that was in the bathroom and not even like two minutes like literally just walk in the fucking building and all of a sudden it's turning the faucet and dirty water's coming out and it's opening closet doors and shit like that and it it was just too <laughs> making lights flicker just so fucking much was going on and it was the, like the training things are supposed to be non-violent ghosts. But that I, I don't know if I believe that. Frankie, we can now go home to daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. Better not be enemies in this area once they leave, I swear to God. Okay. I... I'm like really pissed that like nothing ever came out of these trees. Because I've hit these trees multiple times. Nothing ever. Ow! Well, call me a fucking liar. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. I guess that was the one tree I did not touch. Nope. Can't fucking wait to go on this train. While I'm here, let me actually. I'm gonna store that mango because I really don't need it right now. I'm gonna store the mini Mr. Mini. And. One of these spite pouches. And then I'm gonna go hit a a groundhog on the head and eat the bump that falls off of it. But whack who? I'm wacka. We've got some good weather today, right? Right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. Wackadoo. Look at ow! Don't hit me. And then you get a whack a bump. A lump of something. <laughs> Replenishes 25 HP and 25 FP. See, so yeah, that's terrible. Also, there's only a. Ooh, ooh, oh shit. There's only so many in the game because once you hit him enough times, he'll just stop. He just won't come back. Okay, Mario. I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Roadport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on till we get there. 
Yo, Zion! Nice to meet you. Nice to see you here, I should say. Get off me, amigo, stroke part. It's not the kind of voice I did for him last time. He does not sound as intimidating. <laughs> Unless I talk like this. Just adjust the mic a little bit. Yeah. Also, this is gonna anger some people, but <laughs> if I play Phasmophobia, I'm gonna be playing it with my trackpad on my laptop. Because <laughs> I know people are like, oh, you use a trackpad? What's wrong with you? That's all I got, man. I could use a mouse, but you gotta remember, I'm playing games on my fucking bed. I don't have like a- oh yeah, that's right, we already saw the daisy. I don't have, um, a, a good area to actually use a legitimate mouse. Let's see what you got, bud. Slow go. Make some s what the fuck is the point of getting this? Get an ultra shroom there, but Wario emblem. Trackpad is playing PC games on hard mode, so full respect. Virgin? Is that what that says, chicka? <laughs> Thanks. Alright, how much is a fucking whack a bump? 55. No. We're gonna store that instead. Because I'm not an idiot. And I'm not fucking using that on something stupid. It says- oh, it says Vibin. I thought it said Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking virgin. I like that it's Ditto, though. Ditto, Ditto's my fucking favorite, man. Ditto, Snorlax. I like Sinistee and Pulte Geist. Those are really good. Mimikyu is another good one. Ditto is a Chad. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! Oh god. Francesca. And of course he's up immediately. Daddy! Virgin Ditto. Well, I mean, it doesn't fuck anything. It just, like, breaks off a piece of slime and that just forms into a new Pokemon. Boss! Oh, my little Francesca! You came back for me! And you too, Frankie! Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Rangiska, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may forget saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. Oh my God, I can't bear away. I can't bear to be away from you, Tate. <laughs> I can't fucking talk. You two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the Don of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. <laughs> oh god. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you're the new head of this, the new head of the Don Pianta Syndicate. <laughs> What? B b boss you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You gotta do- you don't gotta do this. I can't fucking talk today, damn. And I mean, me? Boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did. Boss! You, Mario. Looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful. I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kinda promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the XS Express if he brought your daughter. Daughter. Whoa. <laughs> is that all? He had me worried for a second. Come over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten. Help yourself. Nice. 
Wow. Yeah. You come back anytime you like. How about that? Oscar Award won. Well, now that I've retired, I gotta get out of here. Daddy? Boss? Where you? Where the fuck you going now, though? You're the boss, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. I don't remember where he goes, though. Frankie, we got lots of work to do, and don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? B -b 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. <laughs> Underboss. Uh, I mean, b Underboss. <laughs> Oh my god. You're like a brother to me. <laughs> you ain't bad, kiddo. Oh my god. Actually, what's up there? I think... Huh. I only just noticed that picture was there, but I don't know what it says. Well, that was actually pretty easy. Now we can go on the train. Yes, yes, yes! We can go to Poshley Heights! Yes! That's six crystal stars, as good as ours. Oh. I heard that, my uglies. So, the six crystal star is in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Fucking Beldum. Hey! You're that Beldum! Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor Vivian. Oh, they did. They had so much fucking fun. But something tells me that trying that alone won't be unwise. So you live. For now. Instead, I'll just beat you to partially heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> and there she goes. Oh, that sounded bad. You gotta go to partially heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Roqueport Station, which is literally like right over here. Vivian, best girl. Yes, she is. Definitely best girl. Alright, we'll save. If this is another fucking RDM. Boot mail? Oh. oh. Okay. Let me. I'll, I'll read this one then. Are you Mario? Did you. Did this email. Did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you as thanks, so here it is. There's still lots of treasures in Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you've probably already found it all. Ugh, I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not-so-useless adventure. The creepy steeple boo. So yeah, he's showing you where you can get, like, the cookbook and all that other stuff. That's- that's nice of him. That's nice. It's really sweet. Alright. This train is bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Wonderful! If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. Watch your step, please! All aboard! Fucking love it! Fucking love it! All aboard! <laughs> Love this so much. But so much. Chapter 6. Three days of excess. Mario's room. Oh yeah. The excess is express. This is so deluxe, man. Three days to Poshley Heights are gonna be over like that. Huh? Hey, you see that? Something on the floor. What did that get here?
Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Whoa. What a freaky threat. You don't think this could be Beldum's work, do you? Whoever this psycho is, you gotta figure they're on this train, right? We gotta get this nut before anything go- there before anything bad goes down on this train. Oh yeah, let me just... Thank you. And I'm gonna switch you to... Vivian, because she's easier to voice act. Thank you. Alright, well... I know one of these rooms is a fucking star piece thing. There it is. Nice. Um, there's nothing here. Wait, that means we can check in ours, right? I wonder if there's an item in it. There's a dried shroom inside the drawer. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Hey, bud. Let's check what's in yours. There are several gourmet food magazines in here. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. Hey, hello there! You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train. And now I finally got a ticket and dreams do come true. Okay. I think this is the richer part of the ship. Oh, hi! You were at the fucking Glitzville. There are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. There we go. Well, hello there, you ducky debonair dish of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. What's this? A witch? Well, people have certainly said that I've possessed an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. I, I thought... Isn't that about Vivian, though? <laughs> anyway. Let me look in here. There's several postcards and glossies featuring Zip Toad inside. Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion dollar art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. Oh, and uh, I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that, guy. Okay, well, I don't like you anyway, so that's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't just stop here. I think we stop at a train station, too. Oh! There we go. Nice, nice. Hey there! Greetings! Welcome to the Excess Express. I'm what is called the Train Engineer. Our opulent journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days. And how do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? Our furnishings delight the eye, but the sway of our locomotive delights all else. So let's all hear it for the Excess Express! Huzzah! Huzzah! What a cutie. Cute little train man. As a, a cute little creature myself. I know when there's good quality. Alright, and I think this might be the food car. Yep. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is that dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummy, fabulous food. And this trip we have a super famous, super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. Okay.
Just checking. All right. I'll talk to Shimmy in a second, but. Tasty tonic. Booze sheet, mystery. Thunder rage. Now go as a traveler. Welcome to the sales stall. We have lots of souvenirs. Um, wait, buy 300. Okay. Does it tell me what I actually get for... Alright. Thunder Rage for 50 points. Time to talk to Shimmy. Hello! I am Chef Shimmy, the culinary expert. Glad to make your complaintance. Uh, I mean acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap Cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in the pot of loneliness. <laughs> there are more... Yeah, there are more over here. I had a feeling there was another thing, but I didn't know. Oh, yes. I remember you. There are several detective novels here. I'm on my way back home. I've strayed so long, I've forgotten what it looks like. Me? I have, very important de I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes in the expense account. Yes. There's nothing in here. Okay. Ah, yes. Why are they so angry? We are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bob here. Ah, <laughs> my, my, my. Why are you so angry, then? Oh, you are the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzales. Bound for Porcelain Heights? Well, it is a certainly it is certainly fitting a place for a celebrity like you. I can't read. Yeah, I'm Bub, and we're gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? No, nope, because I got a star piece from that. My voice acting has kind of <laughs> plateaued a little bit. <laughs> the conductor, and I trust you must be Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Oh? What's that? Some sort of a sticky, yummy threat? Uh, I see. Good gracious me, if I hear anything else, I'll let you know immediately. Okay. I guess we go back to our room? Oh. I thought it was gonna have a nice lunch on my expense account. Rats. This is truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. I'm dying for a taco, guy. Couldn't you just whip up some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This isn't in my contract. Oh no. And Siptoad is here and everything. No. My life is totally ruined. No. My heart cries out in the salty pain of misery. That was my master beast. I mean, my, my masterpiece. And now it is gone and I am left with tears of horror in my eyes. Huh. Yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is a question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case is a pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that would do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said? And, um, or exactly what kind of- Oh, this isn't him. A mystery, you just said. And, um, uh, or exactly what kind of a dish is that? Oh. <laughs> I am known as Pennington, but likely would not- you likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. 
At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And it is a little conundrum. My dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh. <laughs> Essential clue to this case, and also happens to be the most vital one, as it ha- <laughs> I can't read. Is that a perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all, and this esteemed fringe. Hello, Cetius? Leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. <laughs> what? Me? Are you totally co- Me, cuckoo. <laughs> I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Eh, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my, accu my accusation skills. You understand, yes? Sorry. What an ass. Ahem. <clears throat> Very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my worthy worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And uh I guess that's about it, right? Uh this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hurf. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You sure are highly suspicious. <laughs> I've just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up, you, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I've deserved such a verbal fr thrashing, but then, well, who did it, hmm? Mm. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. <laughs> well, uh, there's soup. A clue! There are traces of something in the carpeting. This looks like spilled stew on the carpet, doesn't it? Don't you think we can just follow the drops to the thief, Mario? It might even be the same person who wrote that mean note threatening us. What makes me say that? If they're my sister, she gives no lunch breaks. Well, shit. Yeah, it's the fucking gluttonous toad. Obviously. What do you want? <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, what were you just saying? Apart from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen. You blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops a stew on the floor outside? N no, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so you don't need to look. You won't find a thing. There's something under the magazines. A pot. Oh. I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me! So, you were so enamored of that stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was in a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Justice has been saved. <laughs> Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. <laughs> my keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call it a ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak of it here. Find me a room six so we may discuss this in private. Okay. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef, if you could. Well, I gotta do that on the way anyway. Yeah, these little stains will stay here the whole time. <laughs> Just as a reminder of your humiliating defeat, chubby... chubby toad. Okay, hey bud. So, you found the beef! Or, wait, I mean, the thief. I am joyful! Ah, oh, sir, you are the hero of my world. 
You have even brought my pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine and I love it. Thanks to you from me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Uh, why must I butcher this language so, so shameful? Please take it, I mean. Thank you. I relate to Chef Shimi a little bit too much. If you've seen my Twitter, you know exactly why. <laughs> Hi, bud. Aha! I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on the last case, I must admit. However, I did not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deduced this from the lack of any in incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided, then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Pashley Heights. I'm known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. As for your name, wait. I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache, that nose. Oh, <laughs> all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? <laughs> no need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. <laughs> now, about this Shrek. Oh my god, I'm like hiccuping a little. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. The family of the bombs, they're definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to a rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Oh, and it's... it's evening. Or not evening. Or it is... is it... it is evening. This isn't where they are, right? This one's... yeah. In this one, I believe. Yep. No, 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 dear. We must think more about little Bob's future. <laughs> I think we should get little Bob the Advanced Learner's Classic Series of Bobomery. Two words. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car. Or a house. Bob is too small for such things, God Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him. Honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. I must get going and get ready, but I hope the rest of your stream goes well. Take care. Thanks for coming, Tether. It was nice to have you here. Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can really detect what I want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Okay. Hmm. Let me ask him. I can hear everything about families fighting out loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> So let me go to the... I'm gonna go to the very front of the train. I'm gonna talk to the driver. Oh, they cleaned up the soup. Okay. Hi, Mr. Conductor. Running this train during the sunset is a high point of every day for me. So let's all hear it. Okay, uh... Wait. Is this not where I was supposed to go? Oh, I'm not supposed to... Am I not supposed to give him his present? I'm just supposed to tell him what he wants. So. I 
Shouldn't be too bad. I just hope uh, Pennington doesn't like blame the fucking bob family, the asshole. Uh, he's in room six, that's right. The thing that young master Bob wants most? Well, let us do, shall we? Why is rudimentary? He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Because that, my friend, is what young children his age crave, crave above all things. I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well, I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. So I'm just gonna tell him- I think it- I'm pretty sure it has to do with the trains. Okay then, here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? it? Starts with an A. Hmm. Starts with an A. Popping in to say you're amazing. Thank you, Super Hot V. You're really nice. Got this thief. I'm actually, I am actually pleased that he craved my entire stew enough to steal the entire pot. My heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. You so totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me, and they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Okay. It's my room, I doubt they're in there. Nothing here. Let me just like. No. Okay. I know I have to do that at some point. I just don't know what time. Okay. See if she has them, I guess. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well? Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now, listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. So, her ring's missing. The other girl's shell earrings are missing. What is that little bub kid want as a present? Uh, I'm sure you'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? Aw, oh, man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Uh, Mario? Is there... Any chance Bub wants something from a person he admires? Well, whatever it is, we'd better find it before we meet a yummy sticky end. Okay, so he wants an autograph, but he wants it from... the train conductor. I'm guessing. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little Bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. The autograph of the Excess Express- Oh, he's an engineer, sorry. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. The Chica, what the fuck is that emoji? What is that? Is that a piece of jerky with eyes? Such a calming, such a calming chapter. 
click it, click it and it might get better bigger for you. Sorry. Oh, it's a fucking Charizard Pog. <laughs> Joggers. It legitimately looks like a beef jerky from far away. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Is there a way you can up the game audio? Yes, there's a way I can up it. This better? Should be a little better. And I'll, I'll up my voice just a little bit. So that... It... There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister! That's just what I wanted. You're a great detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Damn. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Ah. The fucking... Oh, now it's night. Mr. Mario, I'm so glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be our suspect, Miss Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'm gonna be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket back, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Honestly? Great, thanks. Well, I'll have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. I really like- Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, by the way, what's a detective anyway? Oh my god. We must get him something that befits the station of our family. I have a reputation to think of, Sylvia. <laughs> well, I still think we should get him the classic series of Bobomery. <laughs> it's, I, it's just IP blanket. Okay, chicka. Alright. I'm gonna try and get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So, uh, could you just stay out of my way for a while? Yeah, man, do whatever you need to. We appreciate the grind. What's this? It's an unticketed passenger, just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in Cabin 8. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. We must strike on our own with that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share if you so truce. No, truly. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt a yummy, sticky suspect. Yeah, right. And now, if you please, I must begin... I must begin to prepare the evening odors. Ah, no. Curse this tongue of mine. I mean the evening hors d'oeuvres. Oh, God. Why am I walking so slow? Whoa, that lag down real bad. Welcome to the dining car. You are just the greatest. Thank you so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. This is my room. I don't need to go in there. Pretty sure. Yep. Knew it. I got you, bitch. <gasps> so you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket. Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He did not realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky thread? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? All I need is your life. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. 
but I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. My fear is that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. Oh my god. It's like someone looking at your your <laughs> your search browser history and seeing all the porn you watch. I can't leave this room, so could you find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. And don't you even dare read my diary, because if you do, <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. Well, I'm gonna read it anyway. I'm just gonna save. Let me move my phone away from here so when it buzzes it doesn't pick up on the fucking mic. Thanks. <sighs> I like that my logo uh, blocks off the directory to wherever this is saving. <laughs> Did you find it? What? A ghost? <laughs> and, and he won't give you this blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? Turn it up a little more. Well, I don't- Whoa, whoa, Mike fell. I don't want to, like, drown out my voice, so as long as you can hear me fine, then it's alright. It's also going to be quiet right here, just in general, so... And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I- I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. You probably shouldn't read it. Well, obviously, I'm going to fucking read it. Oh, sure, what the heck. Oh, sure, what the heck. Oh, sure, what the heck. Month, day, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked! Even though I told you not to! See what happens. Yeah, he gives me a game over, as I expected. That's fine. That's why I saved right before. Bro, imagine if you read it, it deleted your entire save file. Wouldn't that be, like, such a shit move? Oh, my neck. My back. My crayon in my crack. Uh, you know what? For uh, for me and for all of you, posture check. Hydrate or dehydrate. Since no one can actually redeem any of those yet. Let me get up. Okay. Now we're in business. And since I already went through all this, we can just... Nope. Oh, it just says, foods or goods? Foods. <laughs> okay. Something else I can get. Wonderful, I knew you would. Now I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. Oh, okay, so I can't just show him it and get him killed. Oops. Also, yes, that is my first thought. If you thought I was completely innocent, then, well, you're watching the wrong VTuber. Oh, 
Did you find my diary? Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. <laughs> Conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> Ooh, if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me now. <laughs> now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've kind of gotten used to it. The wallpaper's so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Oh. <laughs> Alright. There's nothing there. Okay. <sighs> so I'll give him back his blanket and... Please stop lagging. Thank you. So, Mr. Mario, how did it go? Oh, thank you so much. Now be comfortable tonight. Of course, uh, your yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget. This is a gesture of my thanks. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I'm the conductor of the Excess Express. Yes, you are, sir. Yes, you are. Truly a gentleman. Oh, it's actually closed. Look at that. I am doing pre I'm doing perp work for tomorrow's meals, which will be plates of glory. Ah, traitorous tongue. I am doing prep work for tomorrow's meals. The kitchen is closed. I'm gonna save. <sighs> Well, it sounds like we should get some rest and let the conductor watch over things. Yes, I will go to bed for the night. Okay, train voyage, day two. chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? No. Hello, it is a good feeling day, isn't it? Friend of mine, yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious, it will make the day mad. <laughs> I love him. So I'm guessing I have to talk to Bennington, as much as I don't want to. Uh oh. Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. Our new case has arisen. And now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Uh, okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my, my briefcase was gone. It contained all of the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. 
But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold... Well then, the results are explosive! The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky, gi yummy shellac! If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Ah, that's why they stole the earrings and the ring. Let's examine each fact, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. No, you definitely had it yesterday. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary! The, sh the thief is still on a train! Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady, Toodles, lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole these objects also has the nitro honey syrup. They could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. You must apprehend the suspect for this dastardly plan is put into effect. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure I already know who it is. <laughs> that Zip Toad came to last night's dinner. But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are. Mario? Have you been to the dining room yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad, chowdery nightmare. But thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? I guess so. Your accent changed, I'm sure, but I'm doing this for fun, not for consistency. Good voices, what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. Well, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man, you. You delightful dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't grow desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. And him, as I fucking knew it was. Vital paper. Looks like something very important and very complicated. Why are you so good at voices? I don't know, man. It's all in the accent, the softness or harshness, and like it's just, I don't know. I'm just doing the voices that I think I can manage, man. I don't know how I do it. To me, they don't really sound that good. <laughs> at least, at least some of the, like most of the male ones don't sound that good. <laughs> Cause I'm, you know, my voice. But uh, in general, it's, it's just fun. You just have fun with it. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Vital paper. What is this paper, huh? What sort of clue is this? Ah, that's, that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? You can do Boonfell and type this. What more do you need? <laughs> Cabin one, you say? Yes, Zipto's room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. And perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the train, always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toad. And as far as I know, I'm gonna have to use Vivian again. Okay, nothing different from you. Thank you for 
little penguin heart, chicka. Doing it in the wrong room. Just as I suspected. <laughs> oh, this is room four. This is the wrong room. Actually, wait, no. I want to go in here and talk to the ghost. Seems that there is someone in your room. I heard some rustling sounds in there a minute ago. Thank you. Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. There he is. I knew he was supposed to come out of the bed. Gotcha, fucker. Zow! Where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Ouch! Uh. What? <laughs> I got him that quick. So this was a man all along. Pretend to be the Pretended to be zip toed, I see. All the while pilfering things from others' age of evil plan. Mm, yes, this was all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. <laughs> Not only that, but I knew you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses. I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, friend. And the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large brain. Uh -huh. Well, yes. In any case, at, last re at least return what you've stolen, thank you. Ugh. Briefcase. Gold ring. Shell earrings. Ah, my precious briefcase. Is the nitro honey syrup recipe in it? Oh, thank you, thank you, and thank the stars it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. A rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Ding dong, ding dong. Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way! Belda would f flip if I let that happen. This old zip toed thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers! Dupless! Belda's play to goofy Mario didn't exactly work, so now I'll be cutting and running. I'll leave the rest to build him. See ya, suckers! So it was Dupless. Huh. Alright. Well, first, I'm gonna return everything. 
Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings. Oh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, take, th take this as my thanks. You are like the nicest old mustachioed overall wearing guy I've ever met. Thanks. Thanks. Tonight we will be having my super duper specialty. The mushroom full course. First, a mushroom bouillon. Then, a mushroom mousse. A sort of roasted mushrooms. Mushrooms and saffron, a delicate but puzzling mushroom sorbet for dessert. And of course, we finish off with a mushroom coffee. <laughs> Cute. I'm just gonna see what the others say real quick. I think Rakka is in here, right? Yeah. Thank you so, so much. If I'd lost that briefcase and my job, my, my wife would have really let me have it. Are they still arguing in here? No, it's just her. Little Bub is gone outside. Who knew he liked trains so much? Hmm. Nothing in there. We are now stopped at Riverside Station, Detective Mario. Why don't you go outside and enjoy the nice fresh air? Side of Bay is a playing drawbridge from here when pleasure boots boots boats cruise the canal, but it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. Cool. Thank you for the info, dude. So how do you get off the train? I guess so. Have you found my gold ring, you mystery sniffing master? Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please take this as my thanks. And do take care. Thank you for the uh, 30 coins. Super cool looking. I want to drive it right now. So little Bob really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? <laughs> Whoa, can I stop lagging? God, it's bad right now. Oh no, what'll we do? Someone lifted the drawbridge. The train can't possibly leave the station like this. I saw a suspicious-looking shadowy person wearing a hat going to the station. He must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So, uh, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go and find- throw that switch? Maybe. Sure thing. Really? That would be super! Well, here's the station key. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I've been cooped up in there breathing stale air too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. Cool. Why am I jumping so fucking slow? I just wasted that moment. That's fine. Just gotta check for star pieces. You know how it is. This is Riverside Station. We stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when pleasure boats cruise the canal. 
But it hasn't been used since the- Oh. That's just what the other guy said. Ah, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was a monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspect. <laughs> Too bad he gave us a slip like that, so... He was rather a slippery sort. We, sh we could have questioned him about all that Feldon business. Here we go. I know how to get that. Okay, so we're getting the curse here then. You don't have the elevator key. Okay. Well, I can blow that away. I know that for sure. Okay, here we go. Huh? Isn't that supposed to do something? I feel like that should have done something. Hmm. Guess we'll just have to wait. I wonder how many of these I can actually blow away. Like if it's all of them. I can. That's funny. So I guess it's just a cosmetic thing? No. There we go. That actually hit. That's good. Let me just get a drink of water real quick. <laughs> Hydrate or digerate. Let's try fiery jigs. Ah, fuck. Well, I fucked it up. Oh, it's still set them on fire. That's it. Not bad, not bad. Nice, nice. So we gotta jump over those. Easy enough. Why does this look... Hmm. This just looks like it shouldn't be there. So they each have their own, like, timing for it. Fuck. Ah, fuck me! I was so close! Alright, I 
I gotta like focus. Shit. Let me look at the pattern real quick. at this. Fuck me. This is gonna take a little while, so if you wanna lurk or something or take a break or stuff like that. How did I miss that? How? I literally jumped right fucking through it. Yeah, I jumped right fucking through it. How did I do that? Huh? Because that's not supposed to happen. Oh, thank God I did it. Explain the plot of a movie badly. Um, we'll, uh, I'm trying to think about something that I would do for that. <laughs> Teenage boy discovers he can shoot a secret substance from his body. Spider-Man. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I gotta be on this. Okay. Oh, I gotta, okay. Gotcha, bitch. All right. Uh, there we go, I'm a genius. Certified genius. All right. Now I can finally get out of here. Hate this room. All my homies hate this room. All the papers are still gone. I wonder. in the crowd. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Almost been going for about two hours now. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Fuck. Oh. 
Thank you, Sudden Water. Um... going badly. We're gonna do fiery drinks. There we go. Oh, oh. Ooh, I got a life stream for that. Gaia, thank you for following me! Wah! Welcome to the crayon box. Fuck you, dude. Go over here. There you go. Super hammer you. Getting into that second fight. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that then. Oops. Let's have her do fiery chain. I'm gonna do sweet treat. Why not? I haven't done it in a long time. Some bad. It's not bad. Hurting. Oh, 
a badge up there. Come on. Really? Alright. You know, I'm wondering what exactly he's grabbing whenever he does that. I think he's grabbing her tit. Retro Yuki, thank you for following! Welcome to my Korean box! God, I'm gonna have a 50. I, I already have a 50. I'm gonna have a 100 pack so soon, bro. Nope. Wait for me, bros. Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay, never mind. At least I know when I jump up over here, I've got a hook. We're gonna go down this way first. Ah! <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> that was scary. No! I like your character here. Oh, there? Thank you. Um. You're gonna hear a lot of the uh, tapping. <laughs> Fucking hell. Are you kidding me? Nope. Nope, nope, I'm not going down there. I'm not going down there. Nice. P up, D down. Boost his attack by one, but drop his defense by one. No! No! Fuck off! Room. Can you fuck off? God damn it. <laughs> Leave me be. Um, you can't use fiery jinx if you do that. Shit. Uh, which one gives me the most? You give me the most. No, you give me the most. Okay. We're gonna do. Fiery Jinx, and hope I get this right. There we go. Did that really? Get out of your ex-knots. 
Nice! Oh my god, that's a that's amazing. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh yeah, I'm not going down there for that. Fuck that. What's behind here? Nothing. Alright. Oh crap. Crap minute. Okay, so I know how I'm supposed to get over there. Oh, huh. Um, how oh, I'm gonna get cursed in the next room, huh? The fuck are all you doing here? Yo, can you like fuck off? Okay, as long as they're just doing both, it's fine. Nothing bad, nothing... Nothing sad. I'm gonna use another quick treat. Just so I can save on some items. Fuck. Oh, I missed that one. Not bad. Nice. Pips can get through defenses, but Vivian can't. As much as I love my dear Vivian. Oh! Coins. Can you fuck off? Thanks. Do I need to <gasps> Thank you, James, for the raid! Holy shit! Zombie, thank you for the f double raid. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my fu- You- uh, I- You- You even- I- the, I- Uh. Uh. What? Wait, there was a Goomba behind me? Thank you, Booby, for the fucking follow! Ah! Yeah, I have been double raided. Love you, fam. Keep it. Uh, I don't deserve it. <laughs> Sixty viewers. Pog. No, we don't use Pog in this house. We use Yog. Yog Sifaf uses the Yoggers. <laughs> Fucking lag. Yog. 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 <laughs> Dog champ. <laughs> I think someone actually made me, like, just as a joke, someone made me a Yog Sothoth Pop Champ, which is just a cute little tentacles or something. <laughs> Doesn't even look like my character, just like actual Yog Sothoth. Oh my god. Oh, I had to kill all of them. Okay, I see how it is. Ten, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. There we go. 
How does it feel to be double rated? Like I'm dreaming and I'm gonna wake up in a minute and I'm gonna be real upset when I do. So, uh, what the fuck is supposed to be over here? I wonder why it's even there. Oh, I know who needs to come out for this. Yep. Yeah. Say no dream, but yeah, I see that. Oh. <gasps> you know what you guys are all gonna get to see? Oh, fuck. I thought it was the curse guy. I got so excited. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again. Way to get the Ultra Boots. Now your jump attack power will go way, way up. And you can use the new jump technique, too. Let's practice it right now. It's all a little hard, but I know you'll get it. Just hold down A and rotate to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a giant spring jump. Remember, though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A, okay? Okay. There we go. Ah. The spring jump can heal you, can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Oh, it was nice having you, Pooby. Thank you. Move left or right to move along the pipe and risk B to let go of it. Okay. Wow, way to go, Mario. That was very well done. Wanna try it again? Nope, I've got it. Okay, now you've mastered the spring jump. You did make my day, James. That was really fucking nice. You can grab pipes in the ceiling now, so I'll be sh so I'm sure you'll access lots of new areas. The spring jump also lets you attack blocks and other places in height. You know, you get what I mean. Oh yeah, you can use it in battle too. So see you next time, I guess, and good luck on your quest. Oh my god. Will you follow me back now, Sweeb? Was this a ploy to get mutual? I did it? Oh, okay. Woohoo! Okay. Nothing over here, I don't think. So now we can just... Whoop. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, let's just try to get back up. This is a ploy to make you my friend and my mutual. <laughs> well, I'll be nice enough to do it, but you should know not a lot of people are gonna do that. You shouldn't expect it. Just saying, because I, I just saw a tweet on Twitter earlier that was like, well, you can give me as much money as you want, doesn't mean it's gonna do anything. So, it's not a, a universal opinion. You gotta be careful. Okay, I can finally get out. Right? Did I do that right? Did I get the badge? Yes, I did. Okay. I don't expect mutual, just ask me. Okay. No. <laughs> Not like you owe me your soul now or anything. <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, let's do multi bounce. Nice. Nice. We're going well. Oh, well, that was shit. 
Good, good, good. That now, if anything, you've you've entered my cult. You owe me your soul. God. Can we stop with the fucking evasion? I don't have a soul, you're fresh out of luck. Well. Can we stop with that shit? I'm just falling asleep. Ah! Oh, so close to a level! So close to a level! Fuck off. Don't want you here. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my private square. You neither. Fuck off. No. Now I see. I got a... Uh... Bonk? No? Then, how do I... It's just over... Th oh, I got a drop. Ah. Uh... Oh, I gotta go to D&D? Thank you for coming. Thank you for the raids. It was such a nice thing to do. Have fun with D&D, okay? Okay, so it is... How in the fuck... Do I get that? Hmm. Inside station, let's see. on the northwest wall. HP plus. Ooh, that's a hidden block. Ooh. Okay. In the sunset area, it's on a ledge. I'm trying to think. Stride shroom. I can't even, bro. How? How? How do you get in there? I'm 
so confused. I gotta find out how to get this. I'm sorry if I'm making it boring for everyone. <laughs> I'm a fucking doofus. God. God, I'm just wasting time. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, it's literally right fucking. Oh my god. No, wrong thing. There we go. There we go. God, I'm so dumb. Now I got it. Now we can move on. Why do I say now we can move on? Because I would likely never come to this area again. <laughs> Alright. Good. Good, good, good. Means we can go this way. Before I go down in the elevator. And I'm gonna go out here, save, and heal myself. Okay. Probably a dumb idea seeing as how. The next uh, three experience I get, I'm gonna get a level again, but I don't want to take the chance that I, I can't do it before I even get that level, so. Why do I have this distinct feeling? No, it was just outlined really badly. Okay. Elevator key. Nice, nice. Here we go. Oh my god, I got 69 followers right now. <laughs> um. Mario. What the heck are those weird things? Do you think these little monsters flipped the switch? Let's hurry up and find it so we can switch it back. Can you? Fuck out of here. Well, you could technically see where the uh, badge was the whole time from the outside there. Don't mind me, just gotta check. Alright. Now we can move on with the chapter! Hooray! I almost thought the elevator broke. Alright. 
Wow, that was one slow jump there. Please don't die, computer. Bridge switch. Remember to always return the control key room to the office. Come on. Come on. Why am I moving so slow? It's only with this chapter. Or just like only with that area, I guess. Okay. Take a trip. Alright. Oh. What did I get? Is that another fucking RDM? Oh, King K! <gasps> Yo, G Money, it's me, King K. You homie from the Glitz Pit? Yeah. I know you remember me, dog. How you doing? What, you off K own fools left and right somewhere else? I'm still living large in the minor league, but I'm keeping busy. You know how it is. Gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay, dog. You fired me up good. So, are we ever gonna chill again, or what? Are we just gonna meet in the ring? Careful, dog. Next time you front, up, you front on the King K, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. Keep it real, King K. Oh, and Jolene's the one there now. That's nice. Aw, great to see he's doing well. Love the man. Let's go! Yeah, there's two toads working here, but it's still with, like, terrible effort. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. Thank you for riding the XS Express. Our next stop is our last, Poshley Heights. All right, I can, oh, okay, I can walk now. I was like, what? Why did it, why is the CDC bugging me? Bruh. All right. Here we go. Nothing in here still. Ooh, ooh. No. It's weird that I'm given the choice to go to bed tonight, wherever I want. We'll be in Poshley Heights tomorrow. I feel sad that I won't see you after that. But please do come visit. I won't be going anywhere. But it's late now. Good night. <laughs> I took you, big boy. When we hit Poshley Heights, I won't be able to eat this amazing excess express chow. How depressing. Alright. We're finally going to arrive in Poshley Heights tomorrow. About time, I should say. But that is for tomorrow. Now, it is beauty sleep time. Late nights cause wrinkles. Alrighty. Let me see. Featuring zip dude, yeah. Alright, so nothing really- no one comes in here or replaces anyone. Tonight is the night to, uh, get everything ready before because there's going to be a boss fight. <laughs> we'll hit- we'll pull into Poshley Heights tomorrow. How was your XS Express experience? I guess I don't even have to ask. You know why, sir? Because the XS Express is fabulous! You're just such a good man. You just- I love you, you little gay. Have a smooch. They really should have made a zero 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 room. They're kind of wasting space in that area, you know. All right, let's see how everyone in the diet car is up. Welcome, welcome. Today's dinner is the mushroom full course. Hey, but in my opinion, even though the chef is good and all, he only seems to be able to cook with mushrooms. 
Hello! The mushrooms in tonight's dinner were just picked in Riverside. Oh. Um, do you really think those are edible? Well. Yeah, it just sucks that you can't come in here and, like, get any items. Because, uh, you kind of fucking need them. Well, I will finally be home, or I will finally get home tomorrow. It's been a rather long time, to be honest. But in the hour, but the hour's grown late. You should get some rest, Luigi. It's been a long day. Several detective novels. I mean, I understand, okay. Just as a thought. I understand that you're a detective, but wouldn't you want, like, a break from being a detective sometimes? Where you wouldn't read those types of novels? Or do you think that you would be so good at them that you actually find them fun? Because I feel like if you were a detective as a, as a trade, you would probably find it less fun. Good evening to you. Tomorrow's the day that our big deal goes down. I've checked the contracts. All that's left is to get a nice big breakfast tomorrow. On the expense account, of course. I mean, hey, go for that grind. If you're not using your business as money, what's the point, you know? Who knew my little bub liked trains so much? Perhaps I'll get him a solid gold train set when we get to Poshley Heights. Hello, Mr. Gonzalez. I've heard all about your present for little bub. You gave him the engineer's autograph, didn't you? I wish we'd thought of that. Gold Bob and I would so like to please him on his big day. Aww. Hey, mister. So, um... So, um, my mom and dad... They said they're gonna give me a train set when we get to Poshley Heights. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! Aww. So the family's... Everything's going well for everybody. I can't wait for that to just get destroyed. Hello, Detective Mario. I guess we owe you again for getting us out of Riverside. This is our last night on the train, but please have a good one. All right. Okie doke. Um, let's switch to Vivi. Just because I like her. She's my feet. What a pretty place. I love this chapter so much. So fucking much. I wonder if anything gets like put into. Huh? Well, sounds like tomorrow we'll see Poshley Heights. We've got to get the Crystal Star before there's others, at all costs. Let's get some sleep so we're fresh for the morning. Nothing here. Alright, I'm actually gonna pause just for a moment. Gonna, oh, what? There goes my mic. We're gonna have a break for a bit, for a few minutes, and then I will be back. I just have to get to the bathroom because we've been going for two and a half hours already. Alright, see you then.
tiny. All back. Let me just open up Twitch on my phone again so I can see everything. Okay. Fucking with my toys, Jesus Christ. Okay. It's 90 degrees outside right now. Train voyage, day three. Ah, uh, it's a new day. And what a cool and brisk morning. Got everything, right? Yeah. a large sanctum in Poshley Heights. The picture on display there is so big it looks like you could just jump inside. Okay. Hmm. He's not in here. here at least. Ah, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Oh, fuck. Hmm? Is there something on the windshield? Ah! Ah! What are these things? Uh, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. What should I do? Uh, first, we have to ensure the passengers' safety. But I have to keep driving the train. Mario, can you check on the passengers? God, they're on every fucking window. I thought no one in here. I already know he's not in there. I, I wonder what the ghost says about this. <laughs> no, you're, you're useless as always. Oh, he's out. Whoa! I, um, there were a lot of black things everywhere. Did you save me? Wow. Uh, let's see what we actually have, because we're gonna need it. This is about to be a boss fight coming up. Why we have a dry trim, I don't fucking know. Alright, we need stuff for MP. Sell. No, not that one. This. This. I saw the mushroom. I need to get to this. Time to get out.
I already know none of them are in there, so. Okay. Smork, 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 smork. Oh, that's right, they're smorks. No! They've gotten inside the train cars! We have to clear them out. Eek! Oh, they have the poor conductor! How horrible! Please help him! Detective Mario, you saved us again. Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. It's scary. They seem to have come into the baggage car through that open window. But they still have many of our paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls. Yeah, actually, I don't need to go in over there. I can go right here. How did I... There we go. to get through them all. Smork! Here we go. Here's the creepiest part of this chapter. This. Octopus smorg. What is that nasty thing? Oh, Mario, look! It's got the other passengers! Help! Ah! Smorg. Ah. It's kind of like we're fighting me. It's nice. Smork my asthma. Or the smork itself. Oh, I'm gonna multi bounce. Fuck. Fine, fiery jinx. Okay. Fuck. I barely did anything. There we go. Ew, it's pulsing. It's like a big dick. Ooh, thank you, my lovely. You're great. I love you. You know, <laughs> I got that fucking uh, boost thing like after the second chapter, and it's still going strong. Oh boy, does that surprise me. Uh, we're gonna. 
shit. I don't know why I didn't just use this one before. Art attack damages all enemies you encircle with the star. Let's try this. Just because I haven't done it before. I had hoped, but... going after Vivian so much. Uh, let me do this. We got this. Fuck! Are you kidding me? That was the weakest shit possible. Don't go after her again. Why are you doing this? Well, I killed two of them. It's not terrible. Use it on yourself. Got a life stream, so it's fine. Uh, can't actually hurt the miasma unless I'm gonna shade fist it. did nothing. <laughs> Great. There we go. Now it's gonna grow arms again. Oh no? Ooh, ooh, okay, this might be my chance. Not bad, not bad. Here it goes yet again. Oh fuck. That's not good. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? Dude. Alright, uh, swapping with Coops because fuck that. Um. What else do I have? Will that even hurt all of them? and red thing will come out. We're gonna shell slam. Oh. Alright, and then, um, power bounce. Oh my god. That one was hard. Fuck. 
I'm kind of glad that one was the one that I got the level up on. Because trust me, I needed it. Woohoo! Woo Am I gonna need those fucking badges, though? Probably not as much as I'm gonna need some more HP. Sparks are sword. Yeah, look at them all. Thank you. Boy, it's like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you much. You shaved my life. No, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. Show, did you all know this dashing fellow has been a famous Luigi all along? <laughs> oh god. We will soon arrive at Poshley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare please prepare to disembark. <laughs> We've almost been gone for three hours. Attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step and be sure to take all of your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the Access Express. Well, we're finally here, Mario. We'd better find that Poshley Sanctum that Professor Frankly was talking about. Nice. We're gonna save. This way. I wonder if she's still in her room, actually. Wait a minute. They must have all exited, right? Yeah. As I kind of... Yeah. I kind of expected that already. Because this is their destination. Why would they not get off the train, you know? We have a bit of time until our next departure. Cool. business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I'm sightseeing. On the expense account, of course. As if you have to ask by now. There we go. You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps. <laughs> We'd dearly like to find a suitable present for our little bub. Hey, mister, I'm gonna get a train set. The coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. What a cutie. Oh, fuck. Look, I didn't know that you could get hurt in there. Alright. d and is for nerds! <laughs> and we are very, very nerdy. <laughs> so I, I can't do anything in here? Not even like a... There's nothing? Why would I be allowed to come in here if there was nothing I could do? Why were people talking about Yogs before? Because I'm Yogs of fuck. So instead of Poggers, it's Yogers. I think this is where the the uh, pipe comes up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, this is her house, huh? Welcome, you marvelous man. The train journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? Huh? I'm very cornfused. I thought they were talking about Yogg's cast. No, they were talking about me. So it's like, there's nothing in here? Nothing I can get? There's just places to go inside and see no one? Is there one behind your cart? Hey, I fucking knew it. I hear Poshley Heights was a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, eh? Maybe I should open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. That's from the first game. 
I knew that was there. I can just fucking tell. Anything that you can hide something behind, that's where they put a fucking star piece. So is this, a uh, Pennington's house? Must be. I mean, there's all these fucking penguins here. So, lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure. Take your time to soak in all of its majesty. I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. Not only the interior, but this facade as well. Yeah, look around outside, too. I guess it's sort of fun to live here. But I can't eat snow cones, or make little snowmen, or go ice skating. Shilling Shiver City, Shilling Shiver City, Shilling Shiver City, Shilling Shiver City, Shilling Shiver City. There you go. Or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what you got until it's gone. And I think we've got a special character around here somewhere. Welcome to you! How do you like to buy some high quality fresh pastas of Poshly Souvenir? One package costs 50 coins, how about it? Nah, come again, okay? You're a mouth professional. We are the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Poshly Heights sure is a place for the rich and famous, huh? We're thinking of going to see the new Poshly Sanctum next. <coughs> a linguist. Aren't you the cunning linguist? Uh, let's see. It's 9 a.m., don't fight me. I think there's a penthouse here as well, too, right? Hello. Bonjour, bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. The last of the reception desk is très magnifique. I shall stay here every night until that heart is mine. I shall not tire, huh? Okay, creep. I love the, like, waterfalls in the window, though. It's great. Welcome, sir. This is the Royal Poshly Park Tower. We promise a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. A room for the night costs a mere 30 coins. Would you care to stay? Sir, you have an ink coupon. Would you like to use it? Hell yes, we do. You're, we have prepared the penthouse on the top floor for you. I trust it will be to your liking. Please make yourself at home. Ooh, gotta stretch my legs. We're almost done with this chapter. another penthouse though like a penthouse penthouse oh that was it why do you like get something out of it not just like see it I'm pretty sure that's probably why they put the end coupon here because they knew you would need to use it Did you sleep well, sir? We have set out a gourmet meal prepared by the famous chef Zesty on the table. And you were satisfied with our service, sir? Most excellent. We look forward to your next visit. Oh! Omelette meal. Food made by Zesty replenishes 5 HP and 5 FP. Now I can go up whenever I want. That makes more sense. I'm pretty sure there's something in the room. There's gotta be something in the room, you know? Ah. I mean, why would they allow you to even come up here if you couldn't get something, you know? Really? Nothing at all. Are you sure? Something about that. I don't know. Oh, fuck. 
there's some um, abilities that I haven't even been using. Inside the hedge to the right of the that did it. Under a panel. Behind the chair. Inside the hedge. There we go. I was like, wait a minute, but no, we're good. Yeah, I fucking knew there was something in the wall here. Yeah. HP drain. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Bye, Flurry. I guess you're stuck. Alright. So that's the only place you can get pasta. I just want to know why, like, getting coins in this game is so fucking difficult. It's really sh I'm pretty sure you can fall on this, right? Yep. There's chomps are everywhere. to check. Now we should be getting to the sanctum. People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say no way, Jose, because it's a bit different every day, you know? I'm not the same as I was yesterday, neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never see another day just like today, so treat every day like it's unique. This fountain's really cool, by the way. Hey there, Pushley Heights is sure nice and warm, eh? Yeah, I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. Pushley Sanctum is a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing, so is the building. I could just stare at it all day, you betcha. I look like it, but I get pretty stressed out, like really bad, you know? But wearing walking barefoot on the grass makes me feel much better. You betcha. Care to join me, guy? I mean, I can't take my shoes off, but. Gone traveling. Sanctum manager. Oh, how unfortunate. What shall we do? Ah, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing to my doorstep, young fellow? Pardon? You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager? My dear, I thought you were a detective. Well, yes, that is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? <laughs> You're one step too late. We have the crystal star. Hey, don't leave without me. He just has to jump at the window. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, no. We're too late. We must go after them. Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hmm, yes, quite rudimentary. You were looking for the crystal star in a sanctum. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude friend stole was unfortunately a red herring. A fake. The real one is hidden somewhere in the sanctum to prevent such a theft. 
However, as to the location of the real crystal star, well, as Shankton manager, I, of course, pro prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Of that, you can be most certain. Yes, indeed. Besides, I'm sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi. Put to use all that razor-sharp sleuthing skills I've taught you. Make me proud. Alright, well, I gotta go over here. I wonder if I can, like, jump out here. No. Hmm. Yes, I'm Norwegian. <laughs> go that way. Makes sense. Woohoo! Possibly shanked him. Fuck! <laughs> Getting so distracted by his the stupid accent that I gave him. Flurry has two big Beautiful eyes, yes she does. <laughs> Could have probably made it up to that top one, but... This one's right here. Ouch. Okay. to the right of Poshley Sanctum. Oh, okay. Outside. Yep, and that's everything you can get here. As far as I know. Other than the star, of course, you know. And... Uh... <laughs> Or all you. Right, well, I'm gonna fight one of them at least because I don't know what the hell they are. This is so strange. God, I love that move so much. Uh, get worse. Press and release A with every time. Fucking need it. Well, obviously, I want to know what's up there, but I don't think there's anything. You got the crystal star! Your star power is now seven, and now Mario can use the special attack showstopper! End of chapter!
Mario found the sixth crystal star hidden craftily in the partially hiked sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains. But our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be? And where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. There's so many fucking ghosts here, you know? I'm surprised it juked them that bad. Alright. What a good idea. This guy's pretty smart, you know? Hmm. Should I just wear a wash? Oh, er, nothing. Nothing. Just talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. I will just put another fake one here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I'm sure you will still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. Well, thank you. Keep looking at the last comment in chat of Slurry has two big, beautiful uh, eyes. <laughs> Here we go. The last peach chapter. Last? Yes. Last. What is the matter with you, idiot? Falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine. Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. So, let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real crystal star. Uh, I'm gonna say... maybe? Uh, this mustached menace has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine! Soft, round, luscious biceps. <laughs> I think I'd better alter my plans a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? What? Are you sure? Speak! No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir. Dude, that is... I'm positive, sir. <sighs> Treason! Oh, poor Tag. Strange. Isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. Oh! Here we go! No. You're gonna go take a shower first. You dirty fucking bird. She goes out and her hair is just so cute. I love the folding. She's so cute. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Just look at her. Look at her hair up. Look at her hair up. She's fucking she's blushing too. She's fucking adorable. Where does she get that hair tie? I don't know. But then when she comes out, she puts it down again like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Momo GD. I would kill for Paper Rosalina. Same. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have... I have 
reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or speak to you. And I cannot confirm what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured, procured has been analyzed, and something terrible is... No, I will not say, but I... I have found out everything about Sir Grotus's plans. Grotus's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes. And among those plans, you were the reason why were the reason you were being held here, according to the data. They don't tell us. Cheeky. Ha. Fine then, keep your secrets. No, wait. It's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything any- I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. <clears throat> I will tell you everything. The place where you are currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? You, you mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But Tech... Won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. I am the base's computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Click clack, clackety whack. Oh no. Hold it. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. <gasps> you Tech, you miserable machine. We all know that you are a too traitor. <laughs> Sir Grotus, I in my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose, especially since it ends here. You monster! What are you planning to do with him? <laughs> they found Tex a work folder! Oh no! Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Otherwise, all data relating to- Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am. I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. x knots. At the same time, press the red buttons on Tech's sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Mail. Princess Peach, I love you. Aww. Deletion complete. Tech! <laughs> Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast. How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have some very important things for you to do now. Yes, very important. No! <laughs> Ooh, it's getting... It's getting fucking crazy! Ah, here we go. 
great, great. <laughs> Ugh. 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 I've got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was, well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp as usual. Your massiveness! Oh, there's a star piece there I never picked up. What the fuck? <laughs> we did it. The Magic Koopa Scouts found a suspicious underground chamber. It isn't even on any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. <laughs> we went from Twilight Town but didn't find Roxas. <laughs> Shut up, chicka. <laughs> With your Kingdom Hearts bullshit. <laughs> About time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me, definitely. The Hammer Bros Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping tooth and nail down there. Oh, so that's why there's Hammer Bros down there now. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast us through. I'm a thousand, baby! Oh, Luigi. Zeliff's name was Leaf, but then he got he got Norted and had an X added to his name. Oh my god. his nose hairs. No! Ah, fuck. <laughs> that was so dumb. There we go. Shit. There we go. I don't know what was down there, but probably not much. I'm right. stood in your way. You couldn't be more super. Police. No problem. I felt right at home. But where are we now? Gracious me! Look, Lord Bowser! On the wall! Behind you! Oh, it's Rockhawk's fucking training room? Hello? Could it be? Oh yeah! Crystal Star Advantage Bowser! Wee <laughs> At last, we found one, and now we'll make it ours. Freeze, chumps! 
Who's there? <laughs> don't tell me you don't know how the famous rock hawk. You little punk weasel, you forgot these muscles? You forgot this hugeness? Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the level, to up the difficulty level. You're good. Of course, good doesn't count for squat in the biz, babe. My champ's belt is mine. <laughs> oh, look. What an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Weak? Wait, what? What? Can, can you do this? Oh, fuck. Pain. <laughs> Pain. Ouch. <laughs> oh, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. Oh, the crystal star. <laughs> it's split in two. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Hold the phone. My mighty Lord Bowser. This is just glass. A flim flam. A fake. What? Speak English. You uh, want the real one, the great. <coughs> Gonzalez has it. Oh, my aching hair. <laughs> Feel the rock. I don't know anybody named Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. God. Who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? Oh no. I thought he was gonna make everything fall down. Save all game progress? Yes. I don't want to forget Rockhawk's hugeness. <laughs> Confused me for a second. I was like, what the fuck? Must be from Princess Peach, don't you think? Can I? Oh. Mario, I know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my. The, the moon. Princess Peach is on the moon. Well, that's good to know. But why would her email be cut off? Oh no, could something have happened to her? Yep. Uh, what the fuck is that? I'm screaming. I wonder what future is plotted for us by how he... By he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. Okay. Screamy, huh? Alright. about what I can do. Is there a pipe up here? No. I think there's a pipe here though. Yeah. would be up here then. Oh. Me being an idiot, that's what. There we go. Do you have anything new, Dazzle? Over here, like I, I don't think I found anything before, but I 
just had a, such a strange feeling. Okay, nothing over there. Anything behind this? No. There we go. I knew there was one somewhere. I always do that. Nothing behind there, nothing behind there, nothing behind here. Over here. Over here. Got it. And there should be a pipe this way as well. God, I'm getting an ache in my left wrist for some reason. actually over here. Oh. Okay. Was it just that? I sure hope it wasn't, because that seems kind of useless. No, can't go that way. If you could ask a Lord of War anything, what would you ask? Hmm. Mm. So I got a D&D &D session coming up and Zeal going to talk to a god of war and a vampire. Oh boy. Um God, if I was Zeal, what would I ask him? something that's not like stupid or cliche or already done before that sort of a shit um hmm i am zealot and st i still don't know what to ask want to throw hands no i don't think he would say that first off he probably asks something that's like really just strange in general there we go, that's the start piece. And then, and then say, hey, you wanna like arm wrestle me? Stop all that shit. Let's see, what do I got? I already asked that five times. Great. Um. A god of war and a vampire. I guess for a vampire, if you've ever been on fire and you roasted a marshmallow, did it taste bad? <laughs> I feel like that would be something Zelif would ask. Does uh, roasting your body change the flavor of the marshmallow? <laughs> and for the god of war... though. I think I have enough shine sprites. Two 
attack all enemies to infatuate. Alright, well, I can do both, so that's fine. Shazubi! I don't know what you'd ask a god of war. You'd have to ask someone else. Vivian already got me infatuated, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we will get Vivian up to full. Because I'm forgetting it's not just. Um, it's not just the moves that you're getting, you're also powering up their, their health. So now she is 30. Oh. Oh, fuck, that's right, there's an area back here. I'd almost fucking forgotten about it. There we go. Should have gotten this last time. Double dip. Use two items in one turn. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't sound terrible. Like, if you don't have stuff that can heal you very well, then getting something like that, where you can heal both, is, is pretty good. That's something I have to get to the rooftops with in the other area, then. Is there anything back here that I can do? I don't think there is. Wait a minute, there's a pipe here. was hoping. Can't say I didn't try. I just want to get that fucking... <sighs> this fucking thing right here. I just don't know how to get it. Is Flavia back there? Yeah, he's just not displaying his gem anymore. I'm 
so kerfuffle. Well, we don't have that much time left on the stream, so how about I look up how to actually get it. supposed to be able to get there. I'm supposed to be able to get that, that chest, like, right now. It requires spring jump. Am I- ooh, wait a minute! Oh, I'm so dumb. That's what I'm supposed to do. Now I get my ultra hammer spring. Yeah, I was supposed to spring jump under it. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the ultra hammer. Now your hammer will be even more powerful. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like with the super hammer, so no prob. Hold down B and rotate until your body gets twisted. Then release. Remember to twist a lot before releasing, okay? Oh, that's fine, dude. Have a good session for D&D, chicka. Thank god, now I can break these fucking blocks. So feel, fi feel free to drop by and listen into sad <laughs> See, look if I'm ever in D&D. I don't know if I want to listen to sad Zealip. He's going to get more and more traumatized. Please don't. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And and be careful in your quest, okay? Oh, that was the last time I'm gonna see her, isn't it? That's really sad. All right. So in the 15 minutes we've got left, we're gonna go down to the sewers, open up some shit. Maybe go back to Hooktail's castle because there's something in there that I can get. It's pretty early on. And I think that should be good. And the other one probably goes to Poshley Heights. Yep. I 
think something cute comes here after uh, you beat the game. Maybe. Probably. I think. Let me just make sure there's nothing past here. Oh, there's something, and it's something I don't like. Okay. So, I'm just gonna go over here. And go back to Hooktails for preferably the last fucking time. Because I hate coming here. Let's see, you can do all ground enemies. Fuck. That was terrible. Okay. There we go. Yoshi! Fucking useless. Yeah, the amount of attacks not gonna matter more lovely. Maybe it will. Oh, it's because he has too high of defense. Oh. Oh, Andy's dizzy. Look at it. <laughs> Yeah, it's up here. Thank God. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm 
mean, there had to have been a... Oh, fuck. There had to have been a reason for me to be able to do that. already fucking gotten it. What? Oh no, I needed to be on top of that one. Well, how do I do that? Oh, I think I see. Okay. I supposed to do that then? bit of a mind twister. I'm, I'm really curious, like... I'm really curious what the fuck I can actually do on top of that. star piece thing. Didn't I already fucking... You literally cannot jump up on that. Yeah, you physically can't do anything with that. I can't jump high enough. Unless I'm just being an idiot, which is very, very possible. Then I don't know. was a waste of my time. Especially since I don't really use, like, I already have, like, 30 fucking star pieces. Honestly, what could I fucking buy with them now that I couldn't buy before? So I tried. I don't think there's any other areas. I need to do that. Like, I think that was every single area that I needed to, um, actually hit those blocks in. Can I walk out here? No. Alright. Introduce the next area. 
maybe. I don't know. I think we could probably... We've only got like three minutes left, so that'll... Getting where we need to go should cover that. Just because if we do cutscenes, that's gonna take way longer. <laughs> Alright. Right here shall- No. Right here shall do. So, as I stretch every single muscle in my body, thank you everyone for coming to my stream and joining me today. It was very, very nice having you and very fun. Uh, the next time I stream should probably be... Late, uh, this weekend, probably Saturday. Just because I have, I have work tomorrow and the next day, and then Friday, I think I'm collabing with someone. So, you will not see me streaming on, by myself, like, on my own until at least Saturday. But until then, bye-bye! Thank you for joining. Thank you, Chicken. I will have a good rest. I'm very tired. <laughs> Later, K2.